probably should record this shit too. Let's start a show. Loving this show, loving this show, loving this show, watch my show, this is a Derek show, this is a Derek show, this is his show. I don't know, whenever it gets like the rhomba, I just want to shake it. (laughs) Shake it, baby, baby. All right, welcome to the show. My name is Derek, at Derek Yon on Twitter. Am I forgetting anything? No, I'm not forgetting anything. <sighs> don't, don't let me forget this keyboard tonight. I won't. Okay. Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, first show on uh, Twitch TV. That's what we're uh, recording on right now, I guess. I don't really know how it works because I haven't figured out that, uh, you know, you know, the internet computer stuff internet machinery but you should come definitely check me out on uh, twitch tv uh i'm i have no idea even what uh, i've even what to link on on uh uh the thing with the other thing i mean i'm sure it's probably like just twitch tv.com Backslash. I have no fucking clue, honestly. Yeah. So I have to figure that out. Oh, uh, so joining me is at Sir Jared uh, from Hanging from the Balcony and uh, Best Friend Fame, and then uh, of course there's my furry roommate Jack, who is a black already cat getting into who's shit. already in the frame, and he He's is a real douchebag. Yeah, no, that's us. That's his thing. That's what he do. Um, and of course, uh, my, uh, my co-host uh, from week in, week out, one of the most dedicated podcasters I've ever met in my life. I'm Duke Nukem, and I'm coming to get the rest of you alien bastards. Yeah, thanks, Duke. Uh, God, he's so quiet. I don't know why he's so quiet, but he just is. He's shy. He's a shy. I'm going to kick your ass, bitch. And apparently he, like, talks in different closets of the area. Oh. Okay, so, um, what's this Twitter button? I don't know. I have no idea how to use this yet. So, uh, I was watching, uh, that Chef Ramsay show. One of those. Which one? Uh, the one where they're competing. It's a competition. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> which one <laughs> you mean all of them uh no it's the one where they're competing for a chance to work in <laughs> so uh, is it the one where it's like amateurs or is it the one with actual chefs well like is it the one where they're in that kitchen it's the one it's or the, is it's it the, the other one it, where they're not it is it's where they're kitchen. sometimes in the kitchen it's hell's kitchen Okay. It's one I was watching. And my favorite thing about that show is every time he throws away a plate of food, I imagine like seven or eight little African babies like dying of starvation. Like, oh, this risotto's mushy. I wouldn't feed that to my dogs. And these kids are just like, please, Chef Ramsey, <laughs> please send us some of the leftovers from your show. I am so hungry. I think they're Russian. That's maybe. true. But it's so depressing. Like, uh, I don't get it. Yeah. They said he ate the food. He tries to eat the food. I don't know. Uh, it just, I hate that. Uh, today, anyway, uh, I want to do, lately you and I have been talking about our childhoods a lot. Like, because we grew up pretty much together. Yeah. So we, yeah. So we've been talking about our childhoods a lot, about how like how shitty kind of basically our friends were when we were growing up, and <laughs> yeah, and and basically like the people who you like surround yourself around at one time, you're like, oh, I love you, you're my best friend. But then after a while, you're like, you suck, you yeah. are so sucky. Well, today I was I was thinking about, um, did you ever like go to the store like with your mom, and you're like goofing off 
but you're like oh, you're like goofing off and acting like a ten year old, but you're like fifteen. And then you see like somebody you go to school with, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I'm acting like a fucking child right now. I never went to the store with my mom. Oh, okay. Okay. I well, tried I a- had to. I tried avoiding that situation yeah. with her. Uh, the show's brought to you by Four Locos, by the way. I am back on those. I do not care. They're, they're good. They're awful. They're, they're aren't. They're pure gasoline with sugar. Oh, God, yeah. Mm. You're savage. <laughs> yeah, I always avoided going to the, the store with my mother. Yeah, I mean... Just because I would always lose her. Dude, were, were, you kid, ever, were you ever that kid? When you were kid that a kid, was like, I was always the one that was yeah. like alone walking the entire place looking for my mother. <laughs> Crying? Sometimes. Were you like 15 when this is happening? Yes. <laughs> you go to the toy section. You go to the electronics where the video games are. Then you look for your mother. And then after a while, you just give up. And then I just go and stand out in the car yeah. by the car in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. So I well, just, needless to say, just um, stop doing that. I'm going to have to actually just try this real quick. Uh, give me one second, viewers. I got to figure out who the fuck. <sighs> There's like not a way to like tweet that I'm doing this. Uh, how do I? How? How? No, don't play. Uh, channel channel oh okay okay hold on here we're getting somewhere here no pause copy okay this is gonna be way better no i mean this will work no no i'm just gonna copy and paste the link right but i couldn't figure out how to do it i thought i was gonna post my dashboard there we go I'm going to spell cum with (laughs) C-U-M. Semen. Us. Semen, watch us. No, that doesn't work. You just want to... No, no, what you're saying. Yeah. We're kind of like saying, hey, semen, come watch us. Yeah. But, you know, I get, you know, okay, so if you say come watch us, people are like, oh, yeah. But oh. if I say come watch us with C U M, I'm implying that I don't All the that dirty I can't pervs spell, can I come guess. watch us. Lols. Okay. There we go. All right, sorry for... This is a terrible podcast so far for the people listening. The people listening, I wanted people to come watch us on this on this Twitch thing, but I didn't know how to do it because I'm a fucking moron. But now I got this. Well, it's the first time this doing this shit. on Twitch. I got this shit. I got it on lock. You got it on pop and lock? The pop and lock nest monster? <laughs> It hurts to be you. Uh, it does. It does. So, um, okay, so let me tell you a story. This is what happened to me. About a lovely lady? Yeah. Who was bringing up three yeah. very lovely girls? All of them had hair of gold. Like their mother? Like their mother. The, the youngest, youngest one. one in <laughs> curls. So, okay. So when we were at the store one time with my mom, uh, my sister's three years younger than me. Uh huh. And like when you're like young, you don't care how you act when you're with your siblings. You just yeah. act like a douchebag. Yeah. So I was like 15 years old, but I probably was acting like I was 12, like her age, basically. And that's pretty much how I act, anyways. Now, and I'm not 15, despite my. Non dropped balls. <laughs> anyway, so we're at the store. I think we're like at Rose Hours or something with my mom. And uh, we're like, you know, like being annoying. And my mom's like, my mom's like, stop! Because that's how she fucking talks yeah. normally. Is how she just be like, stop it! She, my mom's a fucking harpy. 
You guys, you, you people have to understand. Mom, if you watch this, you're a harpy. <laughs> I don't know other way to. I mean, I'm sorry. It's offensive, but no offense. But she was a harpy, so so she'd be like, "You guys gotta cut it out." A harpy and slash ACDC ish. Yes, and uh, and then we'd be like, <laughs> "No, we're stupid fucking kids." And then uh, I don't remember what the hell kind of thing we were doing. And then I remember seeing these kids I went to school with, and we're all like, "What are you?" Like I'm like acting like like my sister and my mom don't exist. I'm just like. Tch. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know it. <laughs> I'm like pretty much, you know, and and then my mom. You, you could totally tell, like my mom and my sister knew that I was just thoroughly, thoroughly embarrassed yeah. by my own actions. Yeah. But of course, probably at that point, I was probably like, "Shut up! Don't talk to me!" Like, I, teenagers yeah. are so shitty. <laughs> Who the fuck wants kids? Stupid kids. People. Kids suck, dude. Kids they suck do. out loud. Kids are. <sighs> kids are what you decide to have when you have nothing else to live for. Yeah. No, no offense, Adam. I love your child. You have plenty to live for. But you didn't decide. No, you know what? Fuck you, Adam. I stand by what I said. Kids are what you have when you decide you don't have anything else to live for. People who don't decide to have kids but end up having them on accident still have something to live for. But now they're like, oh, shit, I have a kid, too. I got to be, like, responsible. Uh, Abortion. But no, but have you ever met those people who are like, I just, I just want to have a baby. Yeah. Or what do you do for a living? Nothing. Yeah. I just want to have someone to love me. I want <laughs> me and my boyfriend, Steve, we're just out of high school and I know he loves me and he'll pr- I'll prove it that he loves me by having a baby and he'll stay with me. He will. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen, especially living in this fucking shithole valley that we live in. And by the way, I don't want anyone to think that I'm one of those people that's just like, I hate where I live. Everything would be better if I just moved out of Portland. Uh, <laughs> if I just lived in Seattle or LA or Salt Lake City or Boise or something. Doesn't everything matter. Would be, everything would be so much better. <laughs> just like, I'm not like that. I really it, I hate it, everywhere so badly. It doesn't matter where you go. It's all a pile of shit with the same drama. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just stay away from fucking stupid people. You got stupid people in your life. Stay the fuck away from yeah. them. Anyway, so the people here, though, I mean, it's probably the same way everywhere. I mean, I'm sure it is. It's the same way everywhere. So I, I've met, I've met several different different sets of girls that are like, you like see them at the bar. I'm, I'll describe it and use the wa- three watchers and six listeners can tell me if you <laughs> if you've seen this or or have been in this instance. You have like a friend. Who's like dating a guy? And he's a complete like douchebag, like and and they fucking hate each other. They never did. They're never doing well. They're never doing okay, and they're like, she's just like he's just an asshole. I'm breaking up with him. I he's just so horrible. Like I saw this girl I know at the bar, and she was like talking about he was like there and then left, and they had like a huge fight. And she's like he's just an asshole. I don't even want to talk to him anymore. I'm done with him. I'm done. I'm. Done. I'm done. I'm done with how. I'm so done. Let's go request a Beyonce song so I can show how done I am with everything. I'm gonna move to Portland after this. Uh, hmm. Let's see if I can make this more authentic here. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Is that how you spell that? Really? Wow. B-Y. 
Shut up. B E Y O N C. Oh. What the fuck did I spell? Bounce, I think. My fucking Boinks. computer. But my computer was like, are you sure? Hey. My computer was like, hey, do you, or did you mean this? No, that's not even a close. Um, no, no, no. So they're like, they're like at the bar, and he's just a piece of shit, and I'm done with him. I'm so done. Miss Independent. My life's gonna be so independent. Like after tonight, let's all get drunk. I'm gonna go find a guy and bone him. I'm gonna completely burn the bridge I've ever had with him before because I'm so done with this relationship. You know what I'm saying, girl? Come on, girl. Let's go dance. Let's go dance together. You know what I'm saying? To the left, to the left. Girl, this is my song to tonight. Left, I'm done with him. I'm so left, done. Left, he was a dick. Just hanging out with all of his left, dick friends. What a dick. I'm so done with him. I'm so done. And then the next day you're like, you're like, so how you, how you doing? And maybe maybe they'll be like, yeah, we just had a huge fight last night and we're, but we haven't talked yet. And then you're like, oh, okay, good. You know what? It looks like you're finally going to move on. Then, like one month later, you run into her and she's like, baby bump. And she's like, I found out I'm pregnant. <laughs> we're doing so good now. Everything's <laughs> Perfect. He he proposed to me. <laughs> he, he did. We're happy together. Dad. <laughs> no, we're happy though. Like everything's okay. It wasn't okay, but now it is. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I love you, Jared. <laughs> To the left, to the left. Do I not have the speaker even no. on? God damn it. Am I forgetting something? No, I don't think so. Jared's words. No. <laughs> no. I think everything's perfect. Everything is tippity top with perfection. Everything's on the marquee with gold and perfection. <laughs> Uh. Anyway, I really didn't have any point of that whole rant. Just that I fucking hate women. <sighs> We're happy. We're gonna have a kid together. And um, you know what? Fuck you for saying he's an asshole. That's happened to me too. Y you ever have like that friend that like is like. Dude, things are going good with Patricia right now. She's such a bitch, man. And you're like, uh, as their friend, you're like, you, I, I, I mean, I, at the beginning, I'd be like, dude, like when I first like, you know, I like, was like learning what it was like to be a friend. I'd be like, dude, I've been trying to tell you for like three years. She sucks ass. She's terrible. She's a horrible girlfriend. You shouldn't be dating her. But then they get back together and he tells her that shit because guys are stupid. Hey, Pat. Hey, Patricia. D Derek said you're a bitch for some reason. Why the fuck would he say that to her? <laughs> so then, uh, then, and then, like, and then, so she just, like, hates you forever. Just forever. Yeah. He called me a bitch that one time. It's like, Jesus. Are you serious? He called you a bitch and I agreed. <laughs> but she does that, you know, like, the, this girl. I just couldn't believe you said those things about him. He's really trying. He quit drinking again. <laughs> uh, he stopped cheating on me. That one felt really aimed. I think that's the best. He well, he, yeah, he cheated on me three times, but he's done doing it because we have a child coming. How do you expect me to know what's going on? God, this podcast sucks! 
<laughs> you suck. You could have pressed power any time. Let me tell you something about me, son. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing on this podcast. <laughs> I've been on so many other podcasts that are so much better than this one. In case anybody's wondering, that is my uh, that is my Diablo Cody voice. One hundred percent Juno voice. No, Juno, it's just young adult. Diablo Cody and and Jennifer's body. Jennifer's body. Oh my god! I just I, it's mostly young adult. Though. Yeah. I just can't wait to go back to my hometown and prove to everybody how much more beautiful I am. I fucking do not. I am not gonna go to my ten year reunion. The only way I would go to my tenure reunion is if A, I was dating a model. B, I had an STD to try to give to somebody. Sorry, classmates. Or uh, C, I was fucking filthy rich. <laughs> like, I came $100 bills. Then I would, I would go. I would never go to one because I don't give a fuck about anyone from school. I don't give a fuck about anyone from school. The people, the people that I want to talk to from school are people I'm still friends with. We. That is it. The people. Um. I wanted to see. I wanted to see Mark Rice. One of the reasons why I was like, oh, cool. What a good reason to get his ass over here, like, to do a podcast and stuff. And they're not even coming now. Well, I mean, he's probably coming, but yeah. he's not coming to the reunion. What? I say he's probably coming, but he's not coming to the reunion. Yeah. Hold the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Oh, there we go. I can actually hear stuff now. God, dumbass. Ooh, it's echoey. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking... <laughs> uh, uh, I okay. Uh, we're good. We're good now. Yeah, we're good now. That's weird. Oh, oh I see. I see. We uh, better. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Better. Yes. It feels like it's still echoing. Yeah, that's good right now. Is it good right now? Yeah. You must not know about me. Okay, here. Jesus, God. It's you. You're making it all fucked up. Why don't up. you just shut up? It is me. God, what a tough show. Mm-hmm. This is a hard show. I hate this show. Just constantly trying to make things sound good. God, it sounds like now I'm tired. Whatever. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh... I basically wanted to be the first one to test out this, uh, God, the Twitch microphone pube in my mouth <laughs> for my stupid cat. We got to go in a little bit anyways to go do your show. Yeah. Uh, hanging from the balcony will be on here shortly. Yeah. Hanging on the ba- hanging from the balcony is going to be on next. God, it, I could actually say that. Yeah. Hanging from the balcony is up next. Uh, that's my gonna fabulous be, show. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great show where I'm going to talk about movies with my Five, sixteen other guests. <laughs> no. uh, but yeah, you should definitely uh, tune into that in a little tune bit. Tune into that and watch it. It's going to be a good time. Um, as for uh, us, uh, well, you know, my show's not really about anything, so uh, I hope you got something out of this. And if you didn't, then well, it doesn't really matter because you're not meant to. Yes, that was the show. That was the show. That was the show. Yes. That was a Derek show. That was a Derek show. Why is that song so that fucking that catchy? Day. This was a show. This was my show. This was my show. It was a Derek show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, remember, if something bad happened to you, you probably did it to yourself. Well, see you fuckers later.